ever since Chloe, my daughter, got this little tea set, she has been begging for a fancy tea party. So I want to show you how to make a princess tea party that girls and moms can do together, having very elegant, yummy, simple foods. So what I'm gonna make is one of my favorite things. Uh, growing up in Kentucky was Benedictine. Sounds like a very fancy word within itself, um, but it's not. It's really simple recipe, but also delicious and quite fancy. So what you're gonna do is take some sandwich bread. I've got two pieces stacked right here. Uh, and when you're making pea sandwiches, you wanna cut the bread, cut the crust off. You could use white bread, but I wanna have a little bit of extra nutrition, so I'm using some whole grain bread here. And just gonna cut it into perfect rectangles, just like this. And you could save this crust um, to make croutons later. Check out, there's a crouton recipe on Weelicious you can uh, find for that. I'm gonna open it right up. And then what I'm gonna do is in a food processor, I'm gonna put two cucumbers that I peeled and taken the seeds out of. These are Persian cucumbers, so you don't have to do anything um, like salting them. If you go on the recipe on Weelicious.com, you'll see that for English cucumbers, you want to drain off some of the liquid. For Persian cucumbers, just remove the seeds, peel them, and you're ready to go. Because there's not a lot of liquid. And then you're gonna have two tablespoons of diced onion. Give it a little bit of flavor, some salt to bring out the flavor of those cucumbers. And then you're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese, or I like to use this whipped cream cheese just because I find that it's a lot easier uh, to pure, puree up and to spread on sandwiches. But when my grandmother made this, I don't remember having whipped cream cheese. So she used regular, and if it was good enough for my grandmother, it's good enough for me. And um, here we go. All right, put it in the food processor, put it on, turn it about, start it low, and then you can go high to make sure that it gets really whipped up and creamy. All right, halfway through, you wanna make sure that you take your spatula and just push down the sides to make sure that everything is completely in there. And that's it, everything is done up. This would make a lot of sandwiches. Um, so what I like to do is sometimes save some of this uh, for later or even as a dip uh, at dinner time for uh, veggies. It's a great way to get kids to eat crudite. See how beautiful that just totally spreads so nice and easy. And it has this sort of like minty lime green color so pretty and it's just really fresh. We, we go to a lot of tea parties. We went to one at Christmas this year and oh, it was so much fun looking at the kids just with their like, tea sandwiches, feeling so fancy. Even for this tea party, I've got these like little chocolate cookies. There's a recipe on Weelicious and heart shapes. Um, but you know, anything that just feels like really special and sweet and fancy. I'm gonna actually add just a little bit more because you wanna make sure that you have plenty. Okay. You're gonna just sandwich it right together. And then what you do, take your knife, cut it in half, and then cut it again into these little sticks. And that is what makes a really nice tea sandwiches like you would see in England on a nice tea platter. And you see that beautiful color, it's perfect. Take out your little cup, pour yourself a little bit of tea, and that is the start to a fancy tea party. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Weelicious.com. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and tell me how your tea party goes and if you have another addition that you would like to see.